Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. I hope you guys are doing great and enjoying this SQL interview preparation series. So guys, today I am back with another interview problem. In this video, we are going to discuss a very interesting problem and it is going to help you elevate the understanding of window function concept. And in this video, we are going to discuss the problem statement and the step by step solution. But before proceeding further, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any update regarding the upcoming videos. And now without wasting any further time, let's start the video. So guys, now we are at the MySQL workbench. First of all, let's start this video by understanding the problem statement, right? So here we have been given one table. The name of the table is logs table, right? And below this, we have the schema of this table. So in this logs table, we just have two columns, ID and num. And on the right side, we have been given the data type of these two columns, right? So the data type of ID column is int, that is integer, and the data type of num column is varchar, right? Now, it is mentioned that ID is the primary key for this table, right? Now, the ask here is that we need to find all the numbers that appear at least three times consecutively, right? And guys, the desired output should look like this table. Here we have just one column. And under this column, we have to print the numbers that are appearing at least three times consecutively, right? Now, first of all, let's write the basic select statement to explore the data that is available in this logs table, right? So for that, I will be writing select star from logs. Let's execute this. All right. So guys, here we have two columns as we mentioned. So we have ID and num, right? So now the ID column is auto incremented. That is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? And on the right side, we have num column. And here we can see that we have some numbers which are occurring consecutively, right? For example, we have 1. So 1 is occurring thrice consecutively. We have 1, 1, 1 for the first three rows, right? And that is the ask of this problem. So we need to print the numbers which are occurring consecutively thrice, right? So guys, now in order to solve this problem, we need to create some strategy. And for this, let's copy this data set and go to Excel file, right? So guys, now we are at the Excel file and I have pasted the logs table here. So we have two columns, ID and num in the logs table, right? So now let's think of a strategy that we can use to print the final desired output. So uh, let me reiterate the ask of this problem for you guys so that you don't need to go back to uh, look at the problem statement once again. So here the ask is that we need to print the numbers which are occurring three times consecutively, right? That is this number should be equal to this and this number should be equal to this, right? So guys, the strategy that we need to implement here lies in my last statement that is we need to compare this number to this number and this number to this number, right? But now the challenge here is that how can we bring this number here and this number here? Because we cannot compare this with this and this with this directly because where condition acts in a different way, right? So first of all, in order to solve this problem, the first strategy would be we need to bring this number here and this number here, right? So let me write it 1, 1, right? And against this number, it will be 1 and 2, right? Because the third consecutive number with respect to this one is 2 and so on, right? So now let me give it number 1 and it number 2, right? So guys, how can we achieve this thing? So in SQL, we have a very good concept that is lead and lag function, right? And we can apply that function to bring this one here and this one here. So guys, now let's go back to the MySQL workbench to see how we can implement the window function in this case, right? So guys, now we are again at the MySQL workbench. Now let's start implementing the window function that we can use here to write the final output, right? So now, first of all, what do we want? We want to bring the number, number one and number two in a single row, right? So in the select statement, I will be writing select num, right? So this num will be this number, right? 
now what do we want we want to bring this one here and this one here right so for that i will be using lead function so as the name suggests lead function is used to print the leading records right so now i will be using lead so in this lead function the first argument will be num because we are going to apply this lead function on this column right now i want to take the con next consecutive number so i will be using one right over so uh, we don't need to pass anything in the over uh, thing now as num1 right similarly I, I want to bring the third number so for that i will be using lead and the first argument will be num num column now i want to take the third number so for that i need to skip two numbers so i will be using two right over as num2 so num1 and num2 are the aliases that i have given to the consecutive numbers right from logs so let's execute this to see what we are getting all right so let me execute all these functions so that we can have a look so guys this is the logs table and this is the output of this query right so now here you can see that we are able to bring this one here this one here right we have one 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 and for the second row we have we are able to bring one one and two you can see it here one one and two and for the last two records we are getting nulls because we do not have any further values right so guys now we are able to print the number number one and number two so number one and number two are representing the second and the third consecutive number right now the ask is that we need to print those numbers which are occurring consecutively three times that is num should be equal to number one and number one should be equal to number two so for that so first of all let me put this part in a ct right and we are going to use the output of this query as a ct so select so now i will be writing num from cta right so now we'll be choosing this number right but we have a condition to put so the condition is that num should be equal to number one and num one should be equal to number two so we can use where num equals to num one and num one equals to num two right so if any record is satisfying both these condition right it will be giving us the number which is occurring consecutively three times so let me execute this all right so guys here we are getting the desired output but i want to mention one more thing that we need to use distinct here right now why distinct so we are using distinct because in the problem statement it is mentioned that we need to print the distinct numbers right so guys we are using distinct here because we want to take the distinct numbers which are satisfying this condition that is num equals to num1 and num1 equals to number 2 because uh, although this table is a very small table it just has seven records but suppose you are working with a very large table so in that case similar kind of scenarios can occur multiple times that is we can have three consecutive ones in the later records as well right so that is why we are using distinct here right so guys let me give you a recap of what we have done here right so first of all we have created a cte cte is common table expression right and in this cte we have created the num number one and number two so num one is something that we have taken from the table itself and num one and num two have been created by using the lead function right so we have used lead function twice here so the first time we are using lead function is when we are passing the argument one so that we can take the consecutive record right and in the third row we are using argument two because we want to take the third number right now after putting this output in this ct we are referring this ct and then we have put the output in a ct right now further we have used this ct to print the distinct numbers which are satisfying these two conditions right now why these conditions because these two conditions are able to validate the constraint that is 
three consecutive numbers should be equal right so guys this way we can solve this kind of problem and it is a very great example of application of lead function right so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed this problem statement in case you really like this problem do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos like this also for your practice i have provided the ddl and dml commands so that you can create your own table you can enter the values and practice this problem statement by yourself so guys share your thoughts and feedback in the comment section below also in case of any doubt or any feedback or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section and you can reach out to me on my linkedin instagram or gmail all the details are mentioned in the description section below so guys thank you for watching this video once again do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button and keep learning keep growing see you in the next video